Japan is definitely a country that has had its fair share of cults in the past few decades. From the Am Shinrikyo that started as a yoga class but would eventually cause the deaths of 12 people after releasing seron gas inside a Tokyo subway system. To the Unification Church, whose members are widely known as Moonies, that was headed by Sung Myung Moon, who conducted mass weddings of members while creating a billion dollar business empire in the background. But what makes the happy science cult stand out from the rest is that they make animes to spread their propaganda to the masses. chairman of the religious sect called the Sonin Group. It has two million followers around the world. He is said to be the reincarnation of Buddha. Hey, what's Buddha? He's talking about Shakyam- Welcome to the basic facts about the happy science cult. Let's start with Ryuho Okawa worked on Wall Street. The leader of happy science is known as Ryuho Okawa but he was born Takashi Nakagawa in Tokushima, Japan. I'll be referring to him as Okawa throughout the video. Not much is known about Okawa's childhood, possibly because the cult is still active today, but it is known that he attended a university in Tokyo. There is a rumor that Akawa originally attended the university to become a lawyer, but he kept failing his exams, so he decided to become a businessman instead. Okawa claims to be the only god. Okawa pursued a career in business and excelled, making it all the way to work on Wall Street as a stock trader. But in October of 1987, the stock market experienced a crash known as Black Monday, causing Okawa to give up the stock market in exchange for religion. Although Okawa claims that he reached total enlightenment in 1981, it wasn't until 1987 that he came out stating he was the incarnation of El Cantare. According to Happy Science, El Cantare is a god and the only god to ever exist. Okawa states that he has been worshipped under different names such as Buddha, Allah, and Yahweh. Okawa begins to talk to the dead. Okawa began to advertise himself as El Cantare and that his mission here is to create a world filled with love, peace, harmony, and prosperity. Although, in 1988, Okawa divorced his wife and married another woman named Kyoko. He originally called this movement the Institute for Research in Human Happiness. This title alone brought in droves of people who would become members. After gaining enough members and raising enough money from mandatory donations by members, Okawa set up a headquarter building in Tokyo. By 1991, not only did Okawa change the group's name to Happy Science, but the group was also officially recognized as a religious group. During this time, Okawa began to write and publish books containing his teachings, including a series where he claims to speak to the dead. He calls the series the Spiritual Interview Series. Some of the spirits he has claimed to speak to are John Lennon, Nelson Mandela, and comic book legend Stan Lee. And not only does Akawa claim to speak to the dead, he also claims to speak to extraterrestrials, stating that one day these beings will visit Earth, but only for negative reasons, such as an apocalypse. Members must worship Akawa on the weekend. Having built temples all over the world, members of Happy Science are required to pay for everything the group offers. They call these donations. Members also work at the three media entertainment firms the group owns called New Star Production, ARI Production, and HS Picture Studio, where the group's animes are produced. 
At each temple, there is a golden statue with a kawa's likeness that stands outside, and members are forbidden to take pictures of it. And I honestly couldn't find a reason as to why they can't. But on the weekends, even holiday weekends, all members must go to the temples and worship these gold statues. Members also have to pay for any of Akawa's rare sermons, where he preaches about aliens, demonic warfare, and most importantly, the group's goal of destroying the United States and making China a slave to Japan. Happiness Realization Party. On May 23, 2009, the group established a political party they called the Happiness Realization Party. And this party was headed by Okawa and his second wife, Kyoko. Until the mid-1980s, Okawa was married to his first wife before the group became so well known, but he divorced her and married Kyoko in 1988. Okawa told the group that Kyoko was the reincarnation of Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of sexual love and beauty. But in 2011, Okawa divorced Kyoko because she had caused damage to the group by speaking out against them and Okawa. She was not only kicked out of Happy Science, but also demonized by Okawa in his speeches. The Happiness Realization Party gets most of its funding from Okawa's books, which are published by the group's publishing company, IRH Press. The group states that the goal of the HR party is to bring freedom, democracy, and faith to Japan. But according to some of Okawa's sermons, the real reason is to push for multiplying Japan's population, overtake America to become the planet's leading power, and to preemptively strike North Korea and rearm for war with China. Blessings against coronavirus. In October 2018, one of Okawa's eldest sons, Hiroshi, spoke out against the group and his father, stating that Okawa is a con man and lying to everyone. Hiroshi and his mother, Okawa's first wife, were kicked out of the group and also demonized by Okawa. But in 2020, the group had made headlines like never before when Okawa began to offer a miracle blessing that could protect a person from the coronavirus and or cure them of it for a whopping $400 per blessing. Happy Science is still very active today and so is their happiness realization party. But whether or not you believe this group is a destructive cult with world domination as its end goal, you now know the basic facts of the Happy Science cult. Thanks for watching.